Hey there. When I first started learning Rust, one of the things I looked up was structuring your Rust project. And the search results were mostly about what cargo.toml means and the configurations possible within it. There was a bunch of information about what modules did and how you create and manage them. I was a little disappointed to not have an official recommendation for placing all your modules and files. Rust has Rust format and Clippy and Analyzer for almost everything else. I was transitioning from writing a lot of Golang on a daily basis and Go has all the same things with Go format and friends. And I decided to just use the recommendation from the Golang repository and go with it. It has been refreshing not to think about where to place files when starting a new project, which I do quite often. Quick disclaimer, this is what worked for me. I'm not saying this is the best. Let's go over the Golang project structure I've been using for a few years now. I was introduced to it by a dear colleague and I use it every day at work. You can find the repository explaining it in further detail in the description below. So, you have three folders, command, package, and internal. All your binaries go in the command folder and all your reusable modules go in the package and internal folder. Let me explain. You create a folder in command for each binary that your project produces. Usually, there is just a single binary, but I find myself creating multiple versions of the same or sometimes a client and server application as separate binaries. Similarly, you can put all your modules in the package or internal folder. In the case of a backend web application, these packages are usually the database module, the frontend module, and maybe ETL jobs as well. Depending on whether you want these packages to be accessible in other projects, you can decide between putting them in the internal or the package folder. Now let us replicate this in Cargo. I like to use the Cargo workspace feature to set this up. Let's begin by creating the root cargo.toml file and enabling the workspace feature. I also set the resolver version explicitly to 2. Now we can also be explicit about what members of this workspace are, but I like to set the members to a glob of the contents of the command and package and internal folders. This ensures that global cargo commands are run for everything in the project. Let's look at these individual members, starting with the packages folder. Here, every folder has a cargo.toml where the type is set to lib. I also rename the main file to match the library name. This way, when I'm looking for it, I don't have to deal with a bunch of lib.rs files. The main file is always a database.rs or a server.rs or something like that. I can also access internal library dependencies by just having the path to the library in the cargo.toml dependencies list. Monorepo done right. This is very similar to how I set things up in my Go projects as well. Next up, the command folder is the usual binary Rust project. Here, I break the Go convention a little and go with the source slash main.rs convention of Rust. I think it makes sense for binaries, especially because I've had to write custom build.rs files often. In main.rs, I can just pull dependencies from the package and internal folders and hook them up to each other to run the program. The final piece of the puzzle is the external libraries that you need. This setup allows me to see common library dependencies separately from project level libraries. For example, the test project I created for the last video with UDP clients, all of the paths had a dependency on Anyhow and Tokyo. So it went into the top level cargo.tomo and in the package and command folders, I could just add a dependency on anyhow.workspace equal to true to pull it in. Only the server package needed the FNV crate, so it was present only in the cargo.toml of the server package. The final part of the puzzle is to have local packages also become workspace dependencies so that you can replace the relative paths in the package cargo.toml with just workspace equal to true. You need to add the package at the root.cargo.toml and then you can include them as any other dependency in the workspace. So that's my setup. Cargo workspaces and project structures from the Golang recommendations. It also matches my philosophy of programming. There's no best language. You can and should pick and choose what you objectively evaluate to be the best for you and your project. Like using the Golang project structure in your new Rust endeavor. See you in the next video.